All right, Shalom Israel. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekwa, Kodash. Up, uh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. It's the Great Millstone Dallas camp in transit on our way to camp. And uh, we just wanted to go into uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, you know, and uh, establish, uh, establish the fact that the reason why Peter and the apostles and the believers on Yahweh Shai was so... Um, was so uh, gung ho, so to speak, was because they witnessed more. They witnessed more things with him. You know, they walked with him. They ate with him. They drank with him. They cried with him. They laughed with him. They did all those things. You know, and fast forward to two thousand years later, the hopeful elect. We doing the same thing, supping with the Lord through the book, through the scriptures. You know, he comes in the volume of the book, so we learn as much of his book as we can to get to know the Lord, so we can know what he's about. So in hopes that we can be those men that bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, you know. But uh, yeah, we just gonna get straight into it, and hopefully it'll be edifying to the hopeful elect, and it gives understanding to those that, that that are truly seeking salvation, that are truly willing to be witnesses, you know, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Con. This is Second Peter chapter one, verse one. It says, Simon Peter. A servant and apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to them that have uh, uh, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I'm saying, see, and just in, just in that first verse, just in that first verse, Peter is establishing. Peter is establishing who he's talking to, man. Right. You know, everybody was everybody didn't feel about Yahweh Shai the way Peter and the apostles did, did they? Of course not. So he's talking about those like-minded men. Right. Go ahead. Quick precept. Go ahead. Uh, this is Ephesians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach by the will of Yahweh, to the saints which are which are at Ephesus. Started from the top. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Everybody wasn't apostles. Right. You know what I'm saying? The apostles always uh, dealt with heavy opposition. Go ahead. By the will of the Most High. By the will of the Most High. This is the Most High's plan. This is the Most High's program. You know, Paul was an apostle because Yahweh wanted him to be one. Right. Go ahead. To the saints. Which to are, the saints. To the saints. Yep. Which are where? To the saints which are at Ephesus. Mm -hmm. And to the faithful in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's what I'm saying. The, the the Israelites in Ephesus that believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, as the scripture has said. That's who he's talking to. That's who we talking to. Go ahead. Jumping back to 2 Peter 1 and 1, I'll read it again. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, mm -hmm. to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yahweh and it, our Savior, Yahweh Shah. He talking to the same people Paul was talking to. Right. Israelite foreigners, Israelites, believers of Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says... Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you that believe on him. Not to everybody. Paul was delivering people over to Satan. They used to walk with him. Yep. So they got to count for something. Yep. Go ahead. It says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of, of Yahweh and of Yahweh Shah our Lord. That's what I'm saying. That grace and peace is going to be given to you through the scriptures, man. Through the understanding of the scriptures. Right. You know? You got these Christians, man, who refuse to read the book. They can't interpret anything outside of their own uh, personal thoughts, you know. But Peter was telling Peter was telling uh, uh, the followers, Peter was telling the followers that look, I walked with the man. I was studying the scrolls already. I walked with John the Baptist. I walked with Yahweh Shai. I understand these scriptures, you know. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, I, I got a quick another quick precept. Come. Ephesians one and eight. It says, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, mm -hmm. having made known unto us the mystery of his will. That's just like when it said uh, the Lord opened up their understanding. Yep. When the Lord said uh, the, uh, he opened up their understanding of the scriptures. Uh, Read that again. It says, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, mm -hmm. according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself. That's what I'm saying. According to his good will, which he purposed in himself, man. I Meaning it was already set up, man. It makes the Lord feel good to see his people doing what they're supposed to do. Yep. 
You know? Was, and he, so go ahead. I was just going to say, it was his pleasure, man. Because the thing is, the Lord didn't have to do this, man. Huh. You know, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shah said that the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, he could have raised up stones to do this work. That's right. You know, but for us to even know that we're Israelites, you know, for us to have Hebrew names, to call upon the names, to, to call upon the names of Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shah, you know, to be visiting uh, Akim all across the world, like we like we've knew like we've known each other for for years, you know. I'm talking about it's like we it's like we've known each other for 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 all our damn lives, man. But the thing is, this is the Lord's program, you know. The Lord purposed this all from the foundation of the earth, man. That's right. You know, He purposed it for certain people to get it, and He purposed it for certain people not to get it. God, you know. And, 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 but the thing is, these Christians, the so-called Christians, and the, and the people that don't have the understanding. They, the reason why they, they start scoffing is because ultimately they get emotional. They want the Bible to formulate to their own thoughts when you got to formulate to the word that's already established. Con, and it just so happened that Yahweh Shai left them in that trick bag on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He spoke to people in parables. So if you speak to somebody in a parable and they don't understand the parable until you break it down to them, if you walk off before you break it down to them, they through. Right. So they all left to their own private interpretation. And that's why they get hurt because when they come up with their own private interpretation and you tell them it's wrong, they like, fuck you. Right. You know? Right. Go ahead. Verse 4 says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. We say given unto us. Given. We didn't take it. We didn't hustle it. You know? It was given. You see? Go ahead. Yep. And what is it? said the promises man like you like you made the reference earlier you know, the promises that are given unto who abraham isaac and jacob that's right you know it says the great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature you know what i'm saying by these you may be partakers of the divine nature man a partaker in the divine nature man that's huge man that count for something yeah go ahead they divine uh it says uh being partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust mm -hmm. you know that's, and that's right that's what we're looking for man you know to be, uh, to be a partaker of the divine nature man when it talks about us being uh joint heirs with yahweh Shai, you know romans 8 8 16 god you know that's being part of that divine nature man being being fashioned in the likeness of his glorious body that's right you know verse 5 it says and beside this giving all diligence Add to your faith virtue. Okay. It said, uh, your calling. You was called. It said, add to your faith virtue. Go ahead. Right. Add to virtue knowledge. Add to virtue knowledge. Go ahead. Add to knowledge temperance. Temperance. So you go from faith to knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to temperance, which is self-control. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And to temperance, patience. And to temperance, patience. Meaning that you're going to have to suffer. You're going to understand the suffering and you're going to be willing to to do so go ahead yeah, with the self-control man you got with the self-control man you're gonna have to endure man you know even though it's gonna be hard yeah that's part of the fight and suffering makes it easy to break that self-control yeah so you have to be able to accomplish these things to yep. be meat for repentance go ahead god it says and to patience godliness and to patience godliness go ahead and to godliness brotherly kindness it's to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness, charity. That's what I'm saying. So when you learn all these attributes and you get them under your spiritual belt, you teach them. You know, you spread the love. You spread that to the occupant. Go ahead. You know, because charity is a fulfillment of the law, man. That's right. It says, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. That's what I'm saying. And the only way you can get those attributes and those traits is through the scriptures, man. Because those are all the things that Yahweh Shah is. You know? All those things are Yahweh Shah rolled up into one. You know? And uh, with us being uh, uh, conformed into his image, we have to uphold these traits as well. Right. Go ahead. God. Verse 9, it says... But he that lacketh these things is blind. But he that lacketh these things is blind. Meaning your table's been made of snare. Because you're reading the same book we're reading. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, the scripture said the election hath obtained it and the rest were blind. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the election, I will say the election and the rest are all studying from the same book. All reading the same book. Yep. Go ahead. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Mm -hmm. He can't see. That's what I'm saying. He can't see past. He can't see past the uh, the, the, the plate that's in front of him. Yep. Yep. You know. 
Yep. Like I say, when you been when the Lord speak to you in parable shit, he giving you two or three chicken nuggets, you know, and he giving us a, a, a seven course meal. Mm -hmm. So if I had three chicken nuggets and I'm watching you eat seven dishes, I probably feel some type of way too. Yep. Go ahead. And that's the thing. Uh, I just want to make a quick point because that's the thing when it talks about it cannot see it far off, man. Jake is short. Jake is short sighted, man. You know, that's why the prophets back before they were called prophets, they was called seers. Mm -hmm. You know, because they would actually see into the future. The, the Lord would open up their understanding to be able to see the things that were to come. Okay, but you got you got Jake that can't see past uh, 2K18 in a one bedroom apartment in a, in a Coke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, that, that's, that's, that's Jake's kingdom of heaven. Okay, but us and this truth and this knowledge, you know, Lord will it be those men, man. We, we, we see the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we see the things that are coming to us through the spirit of power. How about you? How shy if we make it, man? You know? It says, And cannot see it far off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. That's what I'm saying. How do you forget you was purged from your own sins, man? You know? Man. That's crazy, man. But it happened all the time. You know? Yep. return to his vomit. Mm hmm. You know? The scripture talks about how, uh, you know, you put your eyes shot to an open shame. Gone. You know? It says, uh, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Yeah, well, I say, instead of dealing with all that madness and all the other dudes talking about, man, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. Because the scripture talk about being called but not being chosen. You got to be both, baby. Right, right. You got it. It says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. That's what I'm saying, man. He's giving you specific instructions to never fail in the sight of the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? But then here you go with a nigga talking about that ain't what that's talking about. Here you go, here you go with some dyke talking about that ain't what that's talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A tranny gonna tell you what this gonna interpret the scriptures for us. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, man? You got it, bro. You know? <laughs> uh damn I'm looking for that scripture. I believe it's in Timothy. Here it is, Conscious Spirit. Uh this is first Timothy chapter four, verse. 16 it says take heed unto thyself mm -hmm. and unto the doctrine take heed unto the doctrine man to the doctrine you know go ahead T uh continuing them continue in the doctrine go ahead for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee that's what i'm saying man you're gonna bring forth meat for repentance which was requested by the heavenly father man yep but you got to get into the word. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out there. I would say you can't, you can't uh, 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 not study at all. You know what I'm saying? Expect and just say that. Jesus love. Well, you know what? Jesus do love you. Right. Your high was shot gonna smoke your ass. Right. Go ahead. Right, because even when you read up in the chapter in First Peter, it talks about how when you add, you know, add a uh, add faith, add virtue, you know, and temperance, knowledge, you know, those uh, those key attributes, the seven cardinal things. You know, it talks about abounding in those things you know and that word abound means to uh to overflow so you you gotta grow you know just like a, a cup could be abounding with water when you when you see a cup abounding with water that water is overflowing over the cup man you know that's how you need to be with this knowledge man that's why uh the scripture uh what's it say in psalms uh my cup runneth over mm -hmm. you know you supposed this cup supposed to be running over man you know you're supposed to be ever growing in the knowledge man you don't want to sit here and be stagnant in the truth God. Have a stagnant spirit, like oh well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick at this level, man. I'm good. I don't learned enough. Yeah, I'm straight. Nah, man, the Lord ain't looking for that's that's being lukewarm. You know, it says verse eleven. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's what I'm saying. That sounds a whole lot better than anything going on in Babylon. Man. It says that it says that the entrance shall be ministered unto you. You know? And what, I just want to get that word minister real quick. So it says it's a epi epi ha epi, I'm just gonna let Esau do it for me. Strong's G 2023. Epi Epi Epiharegeo. Ministered, it says to supply. It says furnish. Present. To be supplied. Mm -hmm. Ministered to. Assisted. You know, so we're gonna be furnished with the kingdom if we follow this if we follow this straight path, man. That's right. You know? Verse 12, it says, Wherefore, 
I would not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things. That's what I'm saying. Peter said, I'm not going to keep on repeating these things, man. The beauty of what I'm telling you is awesome enough to be repeated time and time again, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He says, I would not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them. I'm going to say, I know you know the scriptures. Right. I get it. I know you know the scriptures. I taught you the scriptures through the spirit. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm saying. We ain't delivered yet. Go ahead. And be established in the present truth. Mm -hmm. Yay. I think it meet as long as I'm in this tabernacle to stir, up your, uh, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. As long as I'm alive, I'm going to keep on making sure you understand these scriptures, man. Because after I leave, you're going to have to keep on pushing. Right. Go ahead. You know, it's just like how these guys, like they always talk about the apostles and elders. Uh, you guys always going to the mark of the beast. You guys are always going into how America's Babylon. You guys just repeat the same thing. Tell us something new. I would say it obviously didn't work. Right. At least not on you. It didn't work exactly. It you know what I'm saying? It worked for us, <laughs> but it didn't work for you. Hey. You know? And the whole doctor just changed up. Right. Uh, pre precept. This is Philippians chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say it to you. I'm going to write it to you. I'm going to send a pigeon strap with a note. I'm going to send a bottle. I'm going to send a note and a bottle through the ocean. Whatever it takes. Read on. It says to write the same things unto you, but for you it is safe. But that's what I'm saying, man. I was charged to watch over the flock. Right. That's the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yahweh Shah himself told me that if I love him to feed his sheep. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed the sheep. I'm going to feed the sheep until they kill me. Right. Go ahead. Uh, verse 13. It says, yay. Actually, I just read this. Watch. Verse 14. It says, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle. It's only a matter of time before they kill me. So I got to make sure you understand now. Right. Go ahead. Uh, even as our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, has showed me. Mm -hmm. The Lord showed Peter. You know what I'm saying? The Lord showed Peter. He said, Peter, I'm finna, I'm, 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 they, gonna, they about to kill me, Peter. Peter tried to stop it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He said, the Lord showed me how to, how to do this, man. You know what I'm saying? And then he showed him again. He showed him again after he was resurrected. He showed him again after he was resurrected because he, he ate and drank with the disciples and those women for that 40 days, giving them the instructions to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And then he was taken away in the chariot, so he left again. Man, twice. He had two. Uh, he had two opportunities to tell Peter everything that he needed to know, and he he cashed in on those, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You have a shot, and I always had the. I would say, well, uh, if you can receive it, but now nah, we ain't got to. We ain't got to. We ain't gonna go there. Go ahead. God, God. Uh, uh, verse 15. It says, Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my decease, mm -hmm. to have these things always in your remembrance. That's what I'm saying. And here we are, 2,000 later, still going over these things that Peter was going over with them uh, uh, believers 2,000 years ago, man. He said, This will always be in your remembrance, man. Just because they finna kill me right now don't mean this message finna die. Right. Go ahead. It says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. That's what I'm saying. We haven't followed cunningly devised fables, man. That's those people that God spoke, uh, the, uh, the Lord spoke to in parables. You know, when you read Matthew 13, it talk about how he was talking to all those people in that multitude while he was on a boat. You know, and with him talking to those people on that boat, that means it was thousands of people out there, man. You know what I'm saying? And he right. spoke to them in parables. So all those people that didn't understand that parable went off with their own private interpretation of what he was saying. And they spread that. Right. But Peter was telling you, no, we didn't even know. No, we got it straight from the horse's mouth. Ain't no mistake about it. We got it from Yahweh Shai. Right. He gave y'all the parable. He gave us the breakdown. Right. Go ahead. It says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, mm -hmm. when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's what I'm saying. We letting you know the power of, 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 of and the coming of Hamashiach, man. Not on no mess. Not on no madness. No, we telling you, we giving you the straight skinny. This is the guy. Right. Go ahead. It says, but we're eyewitnesses of his majesty. That's what I'm saying. We was eyewitnesses of his majesty, man. You know what I'm saying? We watched him feed all those people. We watched him turn water into wine. We watched it when he, uh oh, said, we believed it when he told us to cast our net on the other side of the boat. Walk on water. Walked on water. You know what I'm saying? Fed 5,000 people. On multiple occasions. On multiple occasions. Man. You see? We saw those things. We was at the transfiguration. I was there. This yep. is what Peter is telling us. He said, I was at the transfiguration. 
You know? He witnessed, he witnessed Yahweh speak from the glory and state, this is my beloved son in whom I will please hear ye him. You know what I'm saying? And that happened, and that happened with, 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 with Peter more than once, if you can receive it. Man, <laughs> hey, if you can receive it. Man. Read on. Kind. And when, uh, it says, verse 17, for he received from Yahweh the Father honor and glory mm -hmm. when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That's what I'm saying. Yahweh himself told Peter, James and John, listen to this man. This is here. my son in whom I well pleased. Hear ye him. He wasn't finna come down off that mountain and say nothing else to no damn body. That's all he said. And then, and then he flew off. Yahweh himself? Give you that instruction, and you're going to come down here and just preach what you want to preach. No, man. No. That ain't what it's talking about. No. Well, tell me what it's talking about then. Hey, how we're going to smoke your ass. Dude. No. Shot, man. Come on. Go ahead. Verse 18. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him on the mountain. That's what I'm saying, man. We was with Yahweh Shai on the mountain when Yahweh himself gave us these instructions. Read on. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Why do they have a more sure word of prophecy, man? They have a more sure word of prophecy because they got it from the ultimate prophet, man. They was there. They got it from the ultimate prophet, man. Yahweh Shai taught them so that they could teach us. You know? Go ahead. Con. Uh, I want to get that word more sure. That word more sure is uh, be by us. It says stable, fast, firm. Trusty. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to the prophecies and breaking them down through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we know what it is. We telling you what it is. We not guessing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but it ain't that. That's not a good enough answer, man. Either you know what the answer is or you don't. If you, if you can say, I don't know, but it ain't that, I'm just going to roll with I don't know. Right. You, told, you just told me at your own mouth that you don't know. Go ahead. It says, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place mm -hmm. until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. That's what I'm saying. Light is very important in a dark place, man. Mm -hmm. Light is our people are drenched in darkness, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And they want to spun through the flashlight. They want to get rid of the flashlight altogether. Right. You know? But that's what I'm saying. That's why they don't have that sure word of prophecy because they don't want to get into this book, man. They got other shit to do. They ain't worried about prophecies. They ain't worried about history. They ain't worried about the law, statutes, and commandments, all the things that this book contains. They're not worried about all that. They just want you to say, Jesus loved me, and that's it. Okay, well, Jesus can love you all day. Yeah, how wish I hate your ass. So we're going to see what it do with that. Right. Go ahead. It says, knowing this first. Knowing this first. Before you know any damn thing else, know this. Go ahead. That no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. That's what I'm saying. And that private inter uh, interpretation come from the people who didn't understand the parable. If the Lord didn't personally break that parable down to you, you don't have the answer. So your answer is going to be something that's out of the uh, 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 out of the temple, man. <clears throat> your answer is going to be profane. You know, if the heavenly father say I chose Israel, who the hell are you to say he didn't? Right. That's not what it's talking about. But it says it right there. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. That's what I'm saying. Prophecy don't come by the will of man. Go ahead. But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm saying. And until that Holy Spirit moved those men, uh, uh, you, you're not going to get that understanding. You're not even going to know what to look for. You know? Right. The Lord says, it says, for the prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man. That's what I'm saying. We can't force prophecy. All you whole ass Christians out there talking about that happened already? No, it haven't, man. No, it haven't. That's what I'm saying. Your, our boots ain't on your necks, are they? Right. Well, the shit haven't happened then. We, ain't, we haven't beat the heathen into, into, into a part of his vessel yet, man. That's what I'm saying. Had the Lord came back and his uh, vesture was uh, uh, dipped in blood, man. Right. Have he stained all his raiment? You know what I'm saying? These things haven't happened yet, man. Had that righteous thing to recompense those that trouble us happened yet? Hell no, nah, man. Has the earth uh, shook to and fro yet? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. Ain't no missiles been shot. Come on, man. Right. That's what I'm saying. Your private interpretation sucks ass. Right. You got anything else? That's it, man. For man. Me. With that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.